can think of it sort of analogous to, you know, in, in literature you need to know grammar in order to read or write, but knowing grammar is not enough to get across a, a complex idea or understand uh, a novel and its, its underlying themes. Similar to, to history, you can memorize dates, facts, figures, um, periods of time, but it's not going to help you analyze uh, broader global trends and, and why things happen and for what reason. So the same goes for math, where if you know how to do things, uh, or know the steps to solve a problem or answer a question in your homework, it doesn't mean that you understand the underlying concepts and that you can make connections between concepts uh, and across different uh, areas or even disciplines. You need to have that procedural understanding, or what we sometimes call fluency, ability to do things automatically, but you also need to know the deeper concepts and the reasons and the proofs and the why. Uh, and I think it's just broadly true of anything in life. You don't just want to do things rotely without thinking about it. You want to be thinking about why you're doing things and have it be based in, you know, reasoning and values and, and core truths. That's my sort of romantic or romanticized answer to that question.